Good morning, happy Monday, and welcome back to another week in outfits. It is such a beautiful autumnal day right now. We've had lots of really crisp, cold mornings. Um, it's actually been a lot cooler than I remember it being this time last year. Uh, and the weather is just really beautiful. I mean, it's stunning outside. So really lovely one to kind of go for a walk. Um, I'm all cozied up. I've got double knits on right now just for the extra warmth. Uh, today I actually have my second styling session, which if you attended either of them, thank you so much. Uh, the first one was really fun and then this one is going to be a little bit more structured and I'm sharing sort of some styling tools and some tips that I haven't actually shared on my YouTube channel before. So um, I hope if you did join up for the second one that you found it really valuable. Uh, yeah, let me run you through my outfits. I know that's what you guys are all here for. Uh, so earrings today that I am wearing are my Majuri earrings. And yeah, sorry if I've got, if I sound a little bit nasally, uh, I have a cold. Our son brings a new bug home every single week from daycare, I swear. Yeah, so earrings are these lovely pearl ones from Majuri, which I've had for a while now. Not sure if they're still available, but I will link to my edit down below, which does give you a discount. My ring is from Linya, and I'm sure you'll have seen me wear this before. Again, I do have a discount code for them as well. <laughs> uh, my necklace is a super chunky chain one from Country Road, which I purchased uh, when I was sort of updating my wardrobe for autumn winter. And I really love the weight that it adds around my neckline because I don't have many chunkier pieces like this. And it's something I'm finding that I'm really drawn to right now after years of wearing just very minimal jewelry. For my outfit, I've gone for a lot of neutral tone. So I'm wearing a lighter color as sort of my base and then a darker rich color over top tonal looks I just think are such an easy way to uh, look pulled together and chic and are very effortless so the top that I'm wearing is from Arquette and I've mentioned this before I did a video about purchases that I regretted and this made it in the list but probably not for reasons that you think it's just because I find it a little bit awkward to style because of the length but I'm really challenging myself to wear it more because I really love it as an item and it's so warm and cozy so what I've done today is I've worn it over the top of a cotton uh, t-shirt shirt dress. Um, this one that I'm wearing is called the weekend dress from Everlane. I've had it for over a year now. It's just a really easy throw on piece. Uh, perfect if you're kind of heading into spring summer right now but obviously as you can see it also transitions really well for the colder months too depending on how you choose to wear it. So yeah that's also got a really loose silhouette so I've got kind of a I've kind of gone for lots of loose layers today. Uh, the knit that I'm wearing over the top, this is from Free People, was actually something that I selected as part of a partnership I did with them over on Instagram, which I loved every single item that I picked out. So I'm gonna link to those posts down below. Maybe I'll link to the like to know what pages because then you can shop the outfits if, if you like what I'm wearing. But um, this was the, uh, I think this was sort of like the fourth piece that I chose and really like the knit to wear. I mean, this is so gosh darn heavy as well. So um, nice and warm. Love the big patch pockets on the side. And then on my feet today, I'm wearing a pair of shoes from Baird Footwear, which I've received so many recommendations about this brand. Um, but yeah, they're so, so comfortable. You don't actually need to break them in or anything. Um, I really like the color of them and they remind me a little bit of my RM Williams boots, but they're orthotic shoes. Shoes, uh, and they do have the little insert so that you can adjust the fit. Nice low block kind of Cuban style heel. Uh, and I think the uh, where they cut off on my ankle is actually quite a flattering point. The bag, because I have gone for a tonal look today, I wanted to mix things up and as usual, <laughs> joking, um, I've gone for my curated nude mock crock leather shoulder bag. So that is my full outfit of the day. I'm going to go on with a little bit of work for the styling session and yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow with my next look of the week. It is Tuesday today and our son is currently napping so I'm going to quickly take the opportunity to share my outfit with you while I can. I thought today I would actually just quickly talk through some new beauty products that I've been using as well um, because the feedback I got from my last video was that you did enjoy this more chatty style where I shared some of the other things that I've been using or trying or doing recently. Um, so I shared on my Insta stories that I was sent a few things from Fenty Beauty and I actually requested these because 
I was really keen to try out Rihanna's brand. I've heard such amazing things and uh, my PR contact had said, uh, as you know, I wear eyeliner every single day and she had said that the fly liner was very, very good. So uh, I've got three products here which I've been using daily for about three weeks. So I have opinions. <laughs> so the fly liner, um, this is what looks like rose gold packaging and then it has the felted tip. So if you like winged eyeliner like I do, I mean I tend to do it slightly differently every single day. There's basically zero consistency in how it looks. Sometimes it's thicker, sometimes it's thinner depending on uh, my dexterity and how effortlessly I can match both of my eyes. Um, I've been using a few different ones over the years. So I've used the Tom Ford one, which is incredibly expensive. I do think that one is really good, but I think for the price, you can get other options which are more affordable. Probably the one that I've used with consistency is the Maybelline Hyper Sharp Wing Eyeliner. And that one is not available globally, I don't think. And I've just been looking at other alternatives because I do find that sometimes that one smudges. So this one here, this is some heavy duty stuff. You put it on and it doesn't budge. Um, I actually find that there are only two cleansers that I currently have which will actually remove this. One of them I need to use twice. The other one is an oil, so it um, much more effectively tends to remove makeup like this, which is very, very uh, sol solidly on the face. I found from the very first time that I used this, it was really easy to uh, create that winged liner effect. However, I do find myself going a bit overboard more with this than I do with, say, the Maybelline eyeliner. So I did want to mention that, and I'm not sure if it's just I'm um, being heavy-handed or what, but, um, and I have kind of noticed because it's more of a felt tip instead of those sort of uh, plasticky bristles, which create a point that it will start to kind of uh, shed a little bit at the tip. So... I'm sort of at that point now, three weeks in, but still creates a really solid line. Let's get it really nice and close so you can see today's winged eyeliner. Um, the eyeshadow, actually, that I'm wearing is one of the, um, what are these called? Snap shadows. Number one, true neutral. I have been wearing a combination of three colors on my eyes. Uh, Nookie Rookie, Cumin Get It, and Simmer Down. So uh, this really light bone shade this sort of a pinky shade and then this brick colored shade uh, and really love the way that those blend out uh, very easy to use and i like this concept too how you can create your own customized palette and then the third product i want to mention is this cream bronzer i have the shade butter biscuit and this is really beautiful for warming up the face it's not like intense at all i apply it here on the tops of my cheeks uh, also my temples and then just across the center of my nose and it gives me a nice little um bit of extra warmth which i definitely need while it is cooler i just dip my fingers in the pan and then put it down directly on my face before buffing it out. Very, very good to use if you are new to cream products, but I just find they look much more natural on the skin and they just sort of mesh in and blend in with your complexion as opposed to looking like there's something sitting on it. So overall, I have to say I've been really impressed with her makeup. But one thing I want to say is if you've already got makeup that you love that you're using, you don't need to go out and get something else. But if you have been thinking about it and you're kind of running out of one of these products, then uh, it definitely is a good brand to try. Okay, so let's talk through my outfit because that was a really long intro. No earrings today, actually just wearing my wedding bands, um, no other jewelry. So I'm gonna step back and I kind of feel like the hero of today's outfit is this really lovely uh, ribbed cashmere knit sweater. I'm gonna be including this in my best basics video on cashmere sweaters. Um, so you'll be hearing all of my thoughts there, but this one was gifted to me. Um, it feels so nice and soft on the skin. I will say I sort of feel like the color of it is a little bit more cool toned as opposed to warm toned. So it's not going to suit every single skin tone or it might not suit every wardrobe depending on the core undertone that you tend to gravitate towards. Um, but I really like the fit and the fact that it does have these really lovely kind of blues on style sleeves with the more cinched in effect at the wrist. Uh, but yeah, really nice and cozy. And then it also has this quite thick band around the neckline too. Um, the trousers that I have on today are from H&M. I bought these a while back, but I think they're still available. They almost feel like a wool, but they're not. I believe they're a synthetic mix, um, but very, very comfortable. They've got a nice loose drape through the leg. I got mine taken up because they were too long on me and they're just a really beautiful cropped length on me now. Uh, for me, I find kind of 
I'd say about two inches above the ankle or one and a half to two inches above the ankle is my optimal length especially for something that is a little bit more relaxed it's not going to ride up too much when I'm sitting down um, one of the reasons I do that is just to visually make my legs look a bit longer in addition to combining that with a high-waisted uh, style trouser these shoes I have on my feet are my About Ariane Ballerina pumps, which I seem to be absolutely obsessed with and have been wearing a lot, especially if you've been looking over on my Instagram, you'll probably have seen them popping up in many of my outfits. Uh, they're just very comfortable and they're chic. Yeah, that is my outfit of the day. No bag, though I do need to walk down to the train station to pick up the car at some point, um, so I'm not really sure which one I would take with me, maybe my Quince uh, crossbody camera bag. So yeah, that is it for today. I will see you guys tomorrow with my next outfit of the week. Hey guys, so it is Wednesday today. Uh, it is around 10 o'clock right now. I've just made myself a cup of tea. I'm gonna settle into doing some work while our son naps. And then when he wakes up, we're gonna go into the city because we've got a few uh, little errands to run. And they actually have this um, in Sydney, they do this thing called Sculptures by the Sea, which is usually on the Bondi to Tamarama Walk. But they're not doing it this year, and instead they have a smaller installation uh, in the waterfront in the city. So I thought that would be quite a nice little thing to do, and then he can have a run around in the domain. Oh, and I actually something I wanted to show you today, which arrived after I filmed my outfit yesterday. Uh, now, I don't know if I've mentioned this on here, but it is a milestone birthday for my husband this year. So, uh, I really splashed out and booked us some really beautiful accommodation uh, in the Blue Mountains. And we're going to be going there in a few weeks' time. And uh, I have some new luggage, which I'm going to be taking. Sort of as I found like, when traveling, um, my needs have changed. And one thing I really, really wanted to use were packing cubes, because... So many people have recommended this to me and I didn't have any. So um, I have new luggage from July. So I've got the white packing cubes and then also their carry-on. Uh, this is in a really pretty kind of nude peach color. Uh, it also has one of those chargers in it. Uh, so I was wondering, would you be interested in seeing kind of a packing list for what I'm going to be taking for the Blue Mountains in the winter? So this could be a really good reference if you live in the Northern Hemisphere and you also have kind of a hiking getaway sort of thing planned and you're wondering what to take with you. Um, obviously I won't be showing what I'm going to pack for my son or anything, it would just be for me, but uh, yeah, if, if that's something that you would be keen to see here on YouTube and maybe I could do sort of the outfits that I ended up wearing, um, I could do it as a after I went so I could show you everything I packed, the outfits I wore and then um, talk about anything I did or didn't need um, because we bought hiking boots. Um, I got a pair from Solomon, Solomon? I'm not sure how you pronounce the brand, but they're not the most chic looking shoes. However, they were very comfortable and very good if you have wide feet. But hiking boots, I think you need to try them on in store to know for sure. But yeah, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Because um, I feel like that could be a fun video and a little bit different to the styling videos I generally share. Um, outfit wise, I am wearing kind of minimal jewelry. I have on these earrings from Majuri that I wear quite often. Uh, I really like the shape and weight of them. I think they're, you know, very, very easy to um, throw on and they have this sort of creamy color to them. The necklace that I have on also from Majuri, and this is probably my favorite from them. Uh, I wear it quite frequently because it's very weighty and heavy and I found it hasn't tarnished or anything at all. Then I have on one of my uh, diamond pieces from Linya. This is using the lab grown diamonds, which I just think is so incredible how far technology has progressed. I did a whole video talking about lab grown diamonds uh, in partnership with them, so I'm going to link that in the cards if you didn't see it. Now, let me show you my outfit. And yes, I am wearing color. I have this mint green cashmere sweater on from Cos. This I added to my wardrobe last year uh, and it is really nice and soft. I have the medium. They tend to do this cut every single season, I believe, or every cold season. If they have it on their website, uh, a similar one, I will link it. Otherwise, if you're in Australia, go in store because they have some really beautiful ones, including in a black. Uh, then the belt I have on today is from Under Control Studio. I don't believe they have these anymore, so I'm going to link a similar one. On my lower half, I'm wearing white jeans. These are the 90s Cheeky Straight, which I think I prefer now over the original. <laughs> I really like the fit of them and they feel a lot more comfortable for me. Uh, my original Cheeky Straights, which I've had for maybe five years now, quite a while, they're feeling a little bit tight on me because, you know, my body has changed a little bit and uh, 
they don't look the same on me as they used to so um i sort of feel like i'm retiring those for the moment in favor of these ones uh, i wear these in the 25. Uh, on my feet i have my vanelli two-tone pumps um as you guys know i don't really need to talk about them because i feature them in pretty much every single one of these videos then because it is cold and any excuse to wear a coat this year especially because i hardly wore them last year i am wearing my kinder salmon wool coat this one i've had now for two years no this is my third winter so i've had it just over two years uh and it doesn't look like this exact one is available anymore but they do seem to have an updated version on uh, w concept uh, which is where this is from i have a discount code with them which will give you 10 percent off um, it's mademoiselle 10 i'll have the details in the description box so good if you've had your eye on anything because um, you can get it for a slightly lower price um i really like this coat um i think it's just really really well made uh, my only niggle is that i found on this particular one that it has these it feels flimsy but i know it's not i mean it's lasted over you know it's lasted over two years but uh i do wish that they had wool belt loops as opposed to these stitched ones um but i tend to look at kinder salmon coats a lot whenever i'm browsing the w concept website and uh, i suspect it's only a matter of time before i go ahead and add another one to my wardrobe not that i need any more coats uh and then my bag will be my von holzhausen shopper tote which is just i mean I feel like when you're wearing quite a lot of volume you can really go big with the bag because it doesn't feel like it is overwhelming or overpowering your outfit um either that or a smaller bag but because we're going into the city and i'm going to need lots of bits and bobs this is my go-to so that is my outfit for today i'll see you guys tomorrow so it's thursday today and it's another very sunny day although incredibly cold both outside and inside the house um, i just made myself a cup of tea so looking forward to drinking that after filming this um i'm going to be heading out for lunch with one of my girlfriends today uh i actually was supposed to be meeting her really soon however our son slept until 7 45 this morning which literally never happens and it's completely thrown his naps off so they're all out of whack today so we're meeting up at 12 30 instead if you're a mum then you're probably very familiar with that period where your entire life feels like it is being ruled around when your child sleeps <laughs> anyway uh, let's talk about what i am wearing so earrings wise i'm wearing the same earrings as yesterday just those ones from Majuri. I don't have a necklace on just because um, I feel like the neckline of this jumper, um, it's kind of doing all the talking. But I do have on my Ilsa Ring Lux from Linya's Lab Grown Diamond Collection and then also my Rosefield watch. I found myself reaching for this particular watch a lot recently just because I'm really enjoying that uh, square boxy watch face and the fact that these straps are entirely gold um, because I do tend to wear a lot of gold jewelry and for me this just feels like an extra piece of adornment. Now let's talk through what else I'm wearing. Okay, so let's talk about this sweater, which if you regularly watch these Week in Outfits videos, you may recognize it is from my children's wear label, Miere. This is one of our new women's Frankie knit sweaters in the color cappuccino. It's also gonna be coming in a charcoal gray, which if I have it on me while I'm filming this, I'll take a photo and I'll insert it here so that you can see. And I'm really excited because I'm fairly certain that when this video goes live, these will be available to purchase on the website if they're not I will have a little pre-order link down below in case you would like to um, add one to your cart we're also going to have the cardigans too um, but I have been waiting so long for these to be ready and I'm just so thrilled to finally be able to share them with you uh, just as I think this is such a cool knit and very different to anything else that I sort of have in my closet. So it's 100% organic cotton. I'll come close so you can actually get a better look at the way that it has been knitted, but also you'll be able to see that from the cutaways. It's quite a loose, relaxed fit. Um, I'm wearing the small, um, but yeah, let me just come up close. So also the other thing I just want to mention is that the neckline on it is really wide. So you could technically wear it slightly off the shoulder and if you are a bit more petite and you wanted to get the small then this would be a lot easier to do just because you have that extra width um, but yeah I really love how nice and open it is across the collar I just feel like it's such a flattering neckline and not something that you get too much <laughs> so yeah that is the sweater I do have underneath just a white tank from Everlane as a layering piece 
On my lower half, I'm wearing my Everlane skinny jeans. These are the authentic stretch ones with the exposed button fly. I really like these and they've become a bit of a replacement for my Dr. Denim skinnies. Um, if you liked my Dr. Denim's, the Moxie style, I believe it's called, is pretty much bang on for those. So I will link both options down below. But these are brilliant, really, really, really comfortable. Um, and they feel like a nice weight in terms of the denim. On my feet, I'm wearing my Everlane Re-Knit Boss Boots. Um, I actually decided to wear these instead of the leather ones today because I like the fact that the shaft kind of comes a little bit higher up the leg. Um, and I really wanted to bridge the gap between where my skinny jeans ended and then where the boot began. And my Boss Boots is a little bit a little bit of skin showing and as I mentioned it's very cold today so I'm being quite mindful of that with my outfit choices these are so gosh darn comfortable um, I have them in the US nine and a half which is my usual Everlane size I'm a European 40 for reference and I do have wide feet and they're a perfect fit I don't need to break them in at all um, the only thing I will say is that if you're tossing up between the boss boot and the re-knit boss boot the re-knit ones aren't going to be practical if it is raining because they will get soaked through the regular boss boot and the leather those ones you could wear when it is raining I'm fairly certain that these are on sale as well so uh, now is probably a good time to buy them if you have been thinking about it then I have a coat today, um, and this one is from The Curated. It is their boyfriend coat. I'm just going to throw it on so you can see. Um, you'll be able to see in the cutaways too. Uh, it's a really oversized, kind of a Scandinavian style boyfriend fit jacket, uh, which I really love. This is very, very nice and soft. This was sent to me, and I do have to say from when I first tried out their classic coat, they've made an incredible improvement in terms of the hand feel of the fabric. Like it is just so unbelievably luxurious feeling, and I'm well impressed. I mean, you guys know what a fabric snob I am, so um, it's just been a real treat. And this has been a coat that I've reached for a lot when I am cold and I just wanna throw something on being in the dark grey charcoal colour kind of just goes with everything. Bag of choice is my Von Holzhausen shopper tote which is fantastic because it fits everything in it. For me this has been functioning as a bit of a baby bag but also fits the handbag essentials that I need too. So that is my outfit of the day. I'll see you guys tomorrow with my last outfit of the week. Happy Friday, final day of the working week and last outfit I'll be sharing as part of this video. It is rainy today. It's been raining on and off all morning and it feels cold. However, despite that, I got it in my head that I really wanted to wear a skirt today. So I've just gone and done it, even though I know my legs are gonna be a little bit chilly. Uh, maybe some nude tights would uh, really do me justice um, right now, but I don't have any in my closet. So I'm just gonna make do and you know, you wear layers. So it helps keep you warm up top to balance out the fact that your legs are exposed. Uh, at least that's the way that I sometimes try and manage it. Um, on my agenda today is actually last night, I kind of got a bee in my bonnet and I started uh, sorting through some things and I found um, a suitcase where I stored some stuff that was sort of like off season stuff that I have realized um, I'm not really reaching for, I wasn't even thinking about it so I'm gonna upload some new things to my Depop this weekend. Uh, I'm sure there'll still be things available. My Depop is always linked down in the description box below, however I would recommend just following me there to see when I add things because it can be a little bit sporadic uh, if you've been wanting to shop my wardrobe. Okay, outfit. So, earrings today are these reliquary ones. I've talked about them before, wouldn't necessarily recommend these ones, they have tarnished. Um, I'm not sure if the quality has changed since I bought these as I've had them for maybe four or five years now But I really really love the spiral design. Um, I think they're a really cool statement earring I do have my hair up in a ponytail and I have a little satin hair tie uh, That's just from seed then my knit today is my S Max Mara wool cashmere roll neck sweater this is just like a cloud it's like a big hug uh so nice and cozy and very reminiscent of my joseph sweater which i bought um i think maybe four years ago now which i absolutely love that's in the wardrobe this feels a lot softer because it has the blend of cashmere in it too uh, probably will pill a little bit i mean i've had that with my joseph knit so i would recommend having a wool comb or a d pillar if you have something like this it does come in a few different colors so i'll link the different options down in the description box 
I sized up to a medium because when I purchased the small, I just found it fit a little bit kind of narrow on the shoulders and I wanted it to have a relaxed feel. I've worn that loose over the top of this Beckenbridge uh, satin skirt, which I don't think they have this one anymore, but I have seen some very similar alternatives. So I'll link those uh, down below. I really like how this is cut on the bias and it sort of just skims over my silhouette. Uh, and then on my feet, I'm wearing my Vanelli two-tone pumps, which I tend to reach for a lot when I'm when I'm wearing the skirt for a styling option. I just think they work really well. I had originally put on my about Ariane ballet pumps, but I just felt like it was maybe a little bit too much contrast for what I was looking for in my outfit today. If I go outside, I might need a coat. So if I do, I'll probably wear my Kinder Salmon coat. We'll link the uh, updated version of that down below. And then bag today is going to be my Louis Vuitton Neverfull, which uh, I sort of stopped using so much recently and definitely want to get back in the habit of it because uh, I did spend quite a bit of money on this bag and I really want to get my wear out of it. So that is it from me today. You can see the sun is starting to peek out of the clouds a little bit, which is always a good sign. Um, but I hope that you enjoyed this week of outfits. Let me know your favorite look in the comment section below. Uh, as I mentioned earlier in this video, let me know if you want to see sort of a packing video for our trip to the Blue Mountains. I don't know if you're just curious. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys on Monday with a brand new video. See you soon. Have a wonderful weekend ahead. Bye.